What's up guys? I'm Samantha Fernandez and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi! Please go subscribe! <laughs> Alright, so today I'm back with something new. It's a DIY project for lazy people like me and you. You want to know what? Wait and find out. So, I'm a lazy person, okay? I was going through YouTube and I found a very interesting DIY projects for Christmas and I thought, hey, why not give it a shot and make a video out of it. So, if you promise to stick by me through the whole thing, I'll attempt making it. What we are going to make today? The first thing is going to be a Christmas tree made out of yarn. And the second thing, Christmas baubles. Before I forget, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment and share. You promise to do it if you like the video? Yeah? 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 I'll take your word for it. Let's go! For the Christmas tree, you need a party hat, some fevicol, some decorative stickers, clint wrap, yarn of course, scissors and some glitter. Now empty the fevicol in a container like so, making sure each and every drop is in. Add some water and stir till you get a nice consistency. Next, wrap the party hat in cling wrap like this. Start dipping the yarn in fevicol like this until you reach the other end, making sure there are no knots. Now comes the fun part. Take the party hat and start wrapping it with the yarn dipped in fevicol like so. Make sure that you have something kept down so that it doesn't get messy. Keep in mind to cover the entire party hat with little to no spaces. I wanted my Christmas tree to have two colors, red and white. So now I'm wrapping it with red yarn. After you're done, secure the loose ends with a brush like so. And yay! Your Christmas tree is almost ready. Now leave it to dry overnight. Once dry, Tug the clin wrap slowly, separating the party hat from the clin wrap. Be really careful because we don't want the clin wrap to come apart from the thread too. We want the thread and the clin wrap intact together. Now once you've successfully separated the party hat from the clin wrap, cut off the extra edges of the clin wrap from below. I kept the tip of my party hat because I thought the top tip of my clint wrap was not secure enough. Now start applying fevicol in the gaps that you see, the places that you see the clint wrap, right there. What's a festival without some glitter? I started by covering the tip of my party hat and then the entire tree. The end product of the awesome glitter party should look something like this. Make sure you cover all the gaps. It's now time to bedazzle the tree. You can decorate the tree however you like. I use these stickers. You can use whatever you want. This is what the final decorated yarn Xmas tree looks like. Guys, I'm so, so proud of myself. I can't even explain it. You could also put some fairy lights inside the Christmas tree like so. And this is how it'll look. Pretty, no? Now for the Christmas baubles, you need a pair of scissors, some paper thread, fevicol and some balloons. Can you tell me where these balloons are from? Comment below. Blow up the balloon to a rubber ball like size and make sure there's space like this. Now take the paper thread and start dipping it in the fevicol like so. Use a brush to make sure all of it is dipped in the fevicol. Once done, take the balloon and secure the paper thread around the knot of the balloon, like so. Make sure you don't tug too hard on the paper thread while tying a knot or else it will come apart, like this. Now start wrapping the balloon with the paper thread. Once again, making sure you don't tug too hard on the paper thread. Once done, and all of the balloon is wrapped. Secure the thread in a knot on the balloon. Shake off the excess fevicol. Now let it dry. 
You can tie it by a thread and hang it anywhere. I just use my tripod. Also make sure you have something down because it will drip. Let's try. The bobble should sound like this. Now take the end of a pencil or the back of a flat brush and push the balloon away. With a sharp object, burst the balloon. It should look something like this after you've taken out the balloon from inside. Your bobble is almost ready. Now cover the bobble with Fevi Call and I'll tell you why. Glitter party! Bring back the glitter and cover the bobble as you please. This is what your final result should look like. Cute, isn't it? today guys i hope you enjoyed this little diy project if you liked it please comment below let me know what you think about it what what you think about my artwork let me say that i do not like crafty projects but this one i enjoyed and if you land up making any of these don't forget to take a picture and tag me in them i would love to see your work i'll see you next time guys see ya